Have yourself a debut. Keegan Murray, 26 points, 8 rebounds, 80% three-point shooting, and a Sacramento Kings win. Sure, it might be summer league, but that's one way to start your NBA career. And we're going to talk about it on today's episode of the Locked on Kings podcast. You are Locked on Kings, your daily Sacramento Kings podcast. Part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it is that time. Time for another episode of Locked On King. Hello and welcome into Locked On Kings, your podcast hub for Sacramento Kings coverage all regular season and all off season presented by Rock Auto. I'll tell you a little bit more about them later on in the show. My name is Matt George. I have the privilege of being your host here. I'm a Sacramento sports producer uh, and reporter at ABC 10 News in Sacramento, and I'm here standing on the court inside the Chase Center, the home this year for the California Classic. Yeah, they snatched ownership of the California Classic away from the Sacramento Kings, hopefully for just one year. It would be so much better if this tournament were being held like it always has been inside the Golden 1 Center with those airline hangar doors open with the Delta Breeze coming through. But that's a tangent for another time. As for now, the California Classic is here where the NBA Finals was inside the Chase Center and the Sacramento Kings taking on the defending champion Golden State Warriors. That's how I'm going to phrase it. It was definitely their first string team, right? Not just a summer league team. But however you want to say it, the Sacramento Kings get a victory over the Warriors here in the summer league. And Keegan Murray has close to as good of a debut as you could possibly have. I'm going to talk a little bit about the, not necessarily naysayers, but those who are discrediting what Keegan Murray has done in this game, his 26-point debut as, hey, it's just summer league, it's not really NBA basketball, yada, 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 yada. I'm going to get to that in a little bit because I do want to address that because there are fair criticisms. And then there is going, I think, a little bit too far and not giving the young man the respect and the roses that he deserves for such a good NBA debut. But it's the way that Keegan Murray scored these 26 points, how efficient he was shooting the basketball, 10 of 14 from the field, 4 of 5 from three-point range, including the very first shot of the game and the very first possession. Kings drop a play to get Keegan Murray an open look in the corner. He gets a little bit of sp uh, space and nothing but net. Talk about a way to get your confidence going, a way to get the fans going as, for the most part, I'm sorry, Golden State Warriors fans. That Warriors team, we were expecting maybe Moses Moody to play. I know Jonathan Kaminga, I think he's playing internationally, so he's not uh, with the team right now. Uh, Justice Winslow, or sorry, Wy <laughs> not Justice Winslow, uh, James Wiseman, none of those guys played. So it was a little disappointing to see the roster that the Golden State Warriors put out there. So really, Keegan Murray was the star of the show in this game. Keegan Murray was who both sets of fans were tuning in to watch, and he rewarded us with a three-point bucket right away. And then he built off of that 13 points at halftime, then 13 points in the third quarter. He got some time in the fourth quarter. We wanted to see him put up that 30-piece. Unfortunately, didn't uh, get any or too many good looks in the fourth quarter to actually accomplish that. But what I like the most about this performance from Keegan Murray, two things. The first thing is that he got 26 points. He was the leading uh, scorer by a wide margin in this game, and he didn't do it by selfish play. He didn't do it with a lot of isolation looks. He didn't just shoot when he had a hot hand. He scored eight straight points in the third quarter, but all the buckets that he scored, all of his points tonight were in the flow of the offense, and that's what stood out to me. I know I saw some fans uh, on social media clamoring, well, Keegan Murray wasn't getting as many touches as he should be getting as the best player on this team, but I liked how Keegan showed that he could be efficient playing in an offense that doesn't necessarily feature him. And to score 26 points when you're not being featured, that's pretty... Ast uh, astounding. And, and looking back at this game, you can honestly say the Kings definitely drew up plays for Keegan Murray. And I'm not saying they didn't do that, but Keegan Murray was not the obvious focal point of Sacramento's offense every single time or the majority of times down the floor. His outside shots came from kickouts or from moving along the perimeter. I would say the offensive game plan, at times the Sacramento Kings, they looked really, really sloppy in the half court, which is what you can expect out of a summer league team. But they're a team that ran. They got out in transition. Keegan got a couple buckets in transition. Keegan read defenses, found open spots, and had a quick release, a quick confident release from three-point range. That's what led to this 26-point performance. That's the first thing that jumped out to me. The second thing that jumped out to me is the fact that Keegan Murray showed immediately why he is number four in this draft. 
Keegan Murray comes and steps in and says, okay, here is my opportunity to make my debut. I'm going to show how I can be effective, and I'm going to put on a show. I'm going to show how I am on another level from anybody else. And that's my response. I should say anybody else in the gym tonight. That is my response to those naysayers or those who are not willing to give Keegan Murray full credit for this 26-point performance. Yeah, it was against the Summer League. It was against a bad Summer League team and the Golden State Warriors. None of these players have much of a chance of ever making an NBA roster. Let's see what he does. Uh, he wouldn't have scored 26 points in his actual NBA debut against the, the Warriors' main squad. Okay, if those are the kind of arguments you want to make, is if you want to look at the glass half empty instead of half full, that's on you. All I can say is that when we watch these summer league games, when you're watching NBA players arise out of these summer league games, it's because they are clearly on a different tier than the rest of their competition. And that's not intended to be disrespectful towards the other players on the, St or the Sacramento Kings summer league roster, on the Golden State Warriors, the Miami Heat, uh, the Los Angeles Lakers who are all playing in this California Classic, or whoever the Kings face in summer league. NBA players are on a different level. Do you remember the 2018 Summer League? Marvin Bagley's rookie year. De'Aaron Fox played in the first ever California Classic game against the, the Lakers. He was the best player on the floor, and it wasn't even close, and he didn't play a single Summer League game from that point on. He hasn't played another single second of Summer League basketball over the course of his entire career after that one game. It's because he proved he was the best player on the floor, and it wasn't close. He proved that he was an NBA talented player, NBA level player, and that these guys players, for lack of a better term, these games were almost beneath him. Keegan Murray steps out onto the floor tonight and he proves that he is an NBA player by uh, being above and beyond the best player on the floor. Now, it would be phenomenal for Keegan to be able to carry that out consistently over the course of Summer League. And I'm not saying that now that he's played this one game, he shouldn't play anymore. Quite the opposite. I expect Keegan Murray, if he's healthy, I expect him to play in every single game in the California Classic and hopefully every single game all the way to a repeat championship in Las Vegas. But what you want to see even more than stats, even more than the eye test of certain plays that he makes, you want to see your fourth overall pick look like an NBA player and look better than all of his competition on the floor even if he's facing the number one, number two, or number three picks in the draft, which I haven't actually looked at the Kings Summer League schedule in Las Vegas. I don't even know if it's out yet. Actually, it is It is out. I know for sure. I don't know if the Kings are playing any of the top three in the draft. I'm sure they are at some point in time. Who knows? I'll just say this. If Keegan Murray looks like the best player on the floor, certainly the best player on his team, that is what we want to see, even more than the big numbers that he put up tonight. But Keegan wasn't the only uh, great thing that I saw out of the Sacramento Kings. Wanted to talk really quick about Nemias Keita. I was a little disappointed. I think he finished with just four rebounds. A little disappointed that he didn't ex exploit his size a little bit more down low. However, he finished with three blocks, I believe. He was aggressive, protecting the paint. He also had some nice moments of fancy footwork in the paint offensively, showing off that quicker step and that speed that he's added to his game this year. Nemias Keita with the rebounding, he didn't really show that off tonight. And the shot blocking, he definitely showed that off tonight. Nemias Keita can be someone that the Sacramento Kings main roster can use. He's the other two-way contract. It's himself and Keon Ellis, who we also got to see play tonight. I thought Keon Ellis had a couple of good moments, especially defensively. Had a couple of one-on-one -on -one lockdown defensive moments, which is what you want to see out of your 3 and D guy on a two-way contract. But Nemias Keita now here in his second summer league, I thought did, for the most part, what you want from him. He blocked shots. He showed how he can be a force in the paint. He showed improvement as a scorer. You need more rebounding out of him overall. But what Nemias Kato provides at his size and his body as a rim protector and his height, that is something we know the Sacramento Kings can use. And I hope Nemias Kato, and I think he does, recognize these opportunities over Summer League as a chance to... He already has a two-way contract locked up. He's already going to be a part uh, of at least King's practices and spend time with the main roster. But there will be stints, I think, this upcoming season that the Sacramento Kings can use what Nemias Kato provides. And what I saw tonight makes me confident that he'll actually be able to take advantage of those opportunities, assuming he gets them. I want to hear your thoughts from this Summer League debut for Keegan Murray, from this Summer League debut for this Sacramento Kings team, who, again, is looking to repeat as a, a Summer League champions. Of course, that's Las Vegas. Remember, that team won the, the championship in Las Vegas. In the California Classic last year, they were god-awful. 
this year, they're off to a really, really good start. Maybe they can carry that through the entirety of Summer League. But let me know what you're thinking. At Matt George Sack on Twitter. Email me, MattGeorgeSports at gmail.com. Leave your thoughts in the YouTube comment section down below. This is intended to just be a, a short, brief, little... Uh, not necessarily emergency Locked on Kings podcast, but a little Locked on Kings check-in. want to make sure uh, I brought some content here for you from the Chase Center. And what makes this content possible is our great sponsors like Rock Auto. With the ever-increasing numbers of makes and models, it's now nearly impossible for your local chain auto parts store to carry the parts that you need. And even when they have the parts, it's at their set price point, their set brand. You have no negotiation power. You have no access to savings like you do at rockauto.com through your phone or your computer. As long as you have an internet connection, you have access to the amazing savings that rockauto.com provides. I'm talking 30, 50, or even 100% more savings at Rock Auto. They're a family business serving do-it-yourselfers for over 50, or rather over 20 years. Their prices are reliable low for every customer. If you're a car wizard or you're someone like me who has no idea how a car works, prices are the same no matter your level of expertise and they have so much for you. All the brake parts that you could possibly want, even motor oil and new car bit. Whatever you do, go to rockauto.com, check out those prices, check out those parts that you need, save yourself some money and when you go, make sure you write locked on in there, how did you hear about us box so they know that we sent you amazing selection, reliably low prices, all the parts your car will ever need, rockauto.com. Big thank you to Rock Auto for sponsoring this episode episode of Locked on Kings and big thank you to you for tuning in for another bonus episode here this week. It's been a busy, busy week of Kings basketball and it's very fun to cap it off with not just a Kings win here in the California Classic, but with the debut that we saw from Keegan Murray. Don't know if you could be happier with what you saw out of him tonight. Hey, maybe he can build upon it in tomorrow's California Classic game. We'll have to wait and see. But for now, my name is Matt George. Thank you so much for listening. You've been listening to Locked on Kings, part of the Locked on Podcast Network.